Finally, let's mention a couple of cameras that record an AVC cam. Uh, those are most popularly the AG HMC40, which is a tiny little camera. You can bring it anywhere, handheld like this, and records obviously gorgeous images right to the SDHC cards. And then if you want to step it up a little bit and stay in that AVC cam format, it's the AG HMC50. So not quite like the HPX170, but it's, it's about that size. It's, it's, it's the AVC cam analog. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on the yeah, HPX. Actually, yeah, the, uh, the HMC150 and the HPX170 actually have the same front end from a camera perspective. And then uh, the 170 is actually P2 recording, and then we have uh, the H ABC cam recording on the 150. All right, great, fantastic. Um, I'm going to take a quick pause. A lot of times people in the chat rooms like to uh, pop in and say hello ask a question. We got anything like that going on? All right. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to say hello to my friend, Mac Gary. Mac Gary is a dot video show fan that lives in Florence, Italy. Uh, he was chatting on with us today as we were preparing, and I wanted to give him a quick shout out. Additionally, Danny Letostack, camera operator in New York City, uh, stand-up guy, really cool dude. Worked with him a couple times in New York, and uh, he's a big fan of the show. Want to say hello to my friends in New York. Thank you guys for watching. All right. So, Back to codecs. We wrapped up AVC cam. We know that you can get up to about 24 megabits per second, but some of, uh, some of the more professional clients that are going to be hiring you guys aren't going to settle, aren't going to settle for AVC cam HD. They're going to need something a little bit beefier. They're used to tape. They're used to HD cam. They're used to DVC Pro HD. Maybe they're used to P2 codecs, yeah? DVC Pro HD on a P2 card. So as awesome as DVC Pro HD on a P2 card is, that technology is already old. You know, every, every three, four years, you've got to come into Mount Midtown Video and upgrade your gear. What Panasonic has done for us to sort of replace our aging P2 stuff is a new codec that also records on P2 cards. And they're calling it AVC Intra, all right? AVC Intra because it's actually intra-frame recording. We're not doing long gop recording. We're not interpolating forwards and backwards and imagining some of the transitions between frames. They're actually recording a proper frame for each frame that you're going to play back. There, again, no interpolation. Every frame that's played back is a recorded frame on your media. This is very much like film, where you get a complete image, right? Each frame that plays back on a film strip. Also very much like tape, where you'd have an entire uh, frame recorded on the tape, and you don't have to do interpolation back and forth using some kind of processor, right? Uh, so like film, like tape, but way better. Why is it way better? Digital media. No fast forwarding, no rewinding, instant digital access. And when it's intra, you've got gorgeous, complete frames, no interpolation, no problems, you know, reversing your footage in editing, or you want to do funny stuff to it, or, um, you know, cutting in the middle of a group of pictures. That would be a problem, you know, on a long op format. This is AVC Intra, way, way different. One frame of playback, one, play, one frame of recorded video. So, we got two flavors of AVC Intra. We got AVC Intra 50 and AVC Intra 100. Uh, AVC, all right, well, let's, let's just stick with AVC Intra 50 for right now. Bridge, can you PowerPoint me, please? All right, here we are. AVC Intra is most akin to the DVC Pro HD format. Well, you, why, why is that, you might ask. You know, it's 100 megabits per second in DVC Pro HD and only 50 megabits per second in AVC Intra. Remember, DVC Pro HD is already 10, 12 years old by now? A little less than that, but yeah. A little less than that? All right. Well, the algorithms that our scientists were able to come up with 10 years ago have been far surpassed. Uh, now we've got algorithms 12 years later that are able to put roughly, roughly the same quality into half the space. No, no big surprise there, right? So what format are we recording AVC Intra 50 on? P2 cards, your favorite familiar PCMCI slots, although those are um, in shorter supply these days on the laptops. There are plenty of Express to P2 adapters that make it very easy to edit your footage. And um, we're going to get into some other ways briefly to bring your P2 footage into your computers also. What is the raster size or the resolution of AVC Intra 50? Also 1440 by 1080. That's another reason why it's very similar, why it's sort of most akin to DVC Pro HD. Here's something that's special, all right? The bit depth or the quantization level of AVC Intra 50, 10 bits. So 10 bit words we're using instead of 8 bit words. That means you've got four times the information, four times the information in each frame over AVC cam. 
You feel me? Because we're going from 8 bits, 2 to the 8th, to 10 bits, 2 to the 10th. So you multiply by 2 twice more. All right. Not, not as interesting to, to our non-techs, <laughs> but suffice it to say, when you tell somebody it's 10-bit and not 8-bit, that means you're automatically ahead of all your 8-bit competition. Fantastic. Color space, also 420. All right, so that's one difference between AVC Intra 50 and DVC Pro HD. DVC Pro HD is 422. Intra 50 is only 420. All right, next, and this is obviously the most important question on the list. Is AVC Intra 50 awesome? <laughs> very. AVC Intra 50 <laughs> is very awesome. And uh, what if you wanted a handheld recorder unit that would record AVC Intra 50? Answer there, the very new, very awesome, sorry, I had to walk away, am I back, am I back? Here we are. This is the AG HP 20, all right? It's handheld, it's battery operated. It's got a slot for two P2 cards. Tons of storage, right? If we're on 64 bits, AVC Intra 50, how many minutes is that, Wes? Uh, that would be four hours. Four hours, <laughs> all right, on two 64 gig cards. You can use this for recording. You can use this for playback. You can use this for ingest. You've got FireWire to your computer. You've got USB. Do we have USB? Yes, USB's on the side. USB's on the side. And both uh, host and device mode. And host so the significance of both host and device yeah. mode means you could use this to feed um, your P2 footage, AVC Intra 50, DVC Pro HD, whatever you got, directly to a computer, or if you don't have a computer on the set and you've got a portable hard drive, AGHP20 directly to your external hard drive, no computer in the middle, and you can dump your footage on the set. Clean up your P2 cards and reuse them. If you have any trouble getting that done, obviously, give us a call, send us an email. Midtown Video is your place for Panasonic technical support. All right? Fantastic. Beautiful little built-in LCD monitor so you can monitor what you are recording if you bring in something HDSDI, totally awesome. A anything HDSDI coming in, you can monitor and record simultaneously. Again, the LCD monitor is also very good, very good for playback. All right, so that's our handheld recorder in the AVC Intra 50 space. So I'm going, I'm going right back to PowerPoint now, if you can pop me in there. Right back to PowerPoint, if you can pop me in there. Yeah, okay. So even more important than the handheld recorder unit that will record in AVC Intra 50 are the cameras that recorded in AVC Intra 50. So we've got the Panasonic AJ HPX3000, the Corvette of Panasonics these days, right? The AJ HPX2000, if you get the AVC Intra board, doesn't come out of the box ready to record Intra 50, but you can put in an option board and boom, you've got the AVC Intra options. Finally, and uh, amazingly, our sub $10,000 one third inch CMOS camera, the AG HPX300. And I promise we're gonna get into that a little bit later on, <laughs> all right? All right, so that's, AV, that's AVC Intra 50 and a pretty good introduction to AVC Intra in general. But now, uh, the Cadillac of Codex, AVC Intra 100. Again, we're intra frame, right? One frame of recorded video per frame of recorded playback. No long op, no interpolation, no, no, no problems there. Most akin to, and this is, this is absolutely true, it is most akin to D5 HD. It's, uh, this is what the studios are using for digital inter intermediaries of films when they need high def video to, I don't know, you know, show up and do some screenings of films or hand it off to their clients for approval when you can't really burn a bunch of, you know, film and you need, and you need high definition. HDD5, that's the level, that's just about the level of quality of AV AVC Intro 100. The format that you can record it on, P2. So, you're either recording it in your P2 cameras or you're recording it in your P2 handheld record unit Maybe your laptop editor. It's a P2 card that holds AVC Intro 100. What is the raster resolution of AVC Intro 100? Full raster 1920 by 1080. Tom, you got a question for me? Uh, yes. Lax in the uh, chat room would like to know is AGPX, uh, HPX 300, uh, 4 by 2 by 2? Okay, an excellent question. First of all, hello, Lax. <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for talking to us tonight. The HPX 300 has the capacity to record in 422. The reason being, it has the capacity to record in this codec. AVC Intro 100, all right? If you, record, if you set your HPX 300 to record AVC Intro 100, you will be recording in the 422 color space, all right? 